That's got some age to it, but you know what this reminds me of is cheese. And that just kind of turns me off, so I'm just gonna leave it here. Okay, well we are keeping it local today and we are here in Lemoyne, Pennsylvania, sitting outside of the Goodwill. So we're gonna head in here and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. It's been actual weeks since I was here last. I figured we'd start here in my favorite section with the vases for 99. That's kind of nice. And then down here, this is a nice candy dish for $4.99. I love the gold on that. That's pretty. All right. Excuse me. <laughs> what else do we see? I think that's probably contemporary. Oh, hey, I just picked one of these up the other day. I forget where it was. It was in another Goodwill. It was a different color scheme. It looks like they put the sticker right over a chip, though. That's not very cool. I might actually move this sticker on that. There's definitely a giant ship on that. <laughs> they usually put it on the bottom, so it's always a little suspicious when it's on the side. And it was, of course, right over a giant crack. Although maybe they were just trying to draw attention to the crack. That could have been the case, too. Uh, what are these down here? $1.99. I like the fruit on that. I don't know, though. I don't know uh, who makes them. I've been missing quite a bit at Goodwill lately because I'm looking through my camera, so I'm going to try to actually look at the shelves rather than look into my camera today. I'm not really seeing anything else, though. So let's go check the figurines real quick and see if there's anything lurking over there. Before, before I even made it over to the figurines, I noticed these on the bottom shelf. That's all fun milk glass. I'll grab those. I'm backing up to check out these. There's, uh, oh, I was gonna say there's no price, but they're $3.99 each. There is a pair of them. I'm um, just making sure. <laughs> Gotta check the clear glass. I've had pretty good luck in clear glass recently. Looks like the duck is still here, but I think the general consensus was that this is not Francoma. However, it is still $9.99. <laughs> this is very darling. What is this? $9.99 on that. It's a Foltzcraft pitcher. I kind of like this. Made in China, $2.99. Stained glass church. <laughs> oh, those are nice. Are those Takahashi? No marking on them. They are speckled stoneware. How much? $2.99 each. I like the pattern on those. Those, I think, are Takahashi. Oh my gosh, look. I've bought and sold this before. $4.99? What? Heck yeah. The cat is adorable. Fish, but not a glitter fish. Doesn't count. Okay, let's check the next style. Four ninety nine on that. I feel like I've had this before, and I think I did fairly well on it. Um, and then I noticed this. Huh. How much is that? $14.99. Wow, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I think it could be something. Oh, it's made of wood. It's wood and lacquer. I'll pay, I'll pay that. 
I'm not afraid to pay up <laughs> when it's warranted. <laughs> oh, hey, look. There's part of a Lazy Susan set. It's missing the center bowl and the Lazy Susan, though. All right, well, that concludes the figurines and the vases, and now we're just going to wander aimlessly. Tarnish resistance. So this is the, um, the metal shelf. Things are no longer color-coded here, but they still do have some sort of theme. I feel like I kind of miss the color-coded because it was more of a treasure hunt. You know, you'd go in the blue section and you'd have to look for vases or figurines or whatever, and you just never knew what you were going to find. But now, you know where the figurines are and you know where the vases are. and It's not as much of a treasure hunt, but it is nice for other people who aren't up for a treasure hunt and just want to find stuff. Somebody left their drink there. You know what, I will throw that away because I have to use the restroom anyway. And actually, before I make my way to the restroom, I really love these canisters. And I think I could probably sell those in my booth, so I'm gonna grab them. Hmm, that's kind of pretty. I don't suspect that it is sterling, though. It's got quite a bit of tarnish on it. I just smack it across the thing. So there's a ton of saucers and plates over here. I think I may have looked at this the last time I was here. Yes, that is false crap. And more false crap. False crap comes from York, Pennsylvania, and we're not very far from that. Of course, now it's China, uh, but I think that's part of the reason why we have so much of it here. It's pretty common in our area. Birds on that plate. Nas National Wildlife. Those cups are kind of fun. Lots of clear glass around that side of the shelf, so I think I'm probably gonna see what we have over here in the way of mugs. That one looks like it could be fit some Floyd. WMG, hmm, maybe not. I don't know what WMG stands for though. The last time I was here, you guys caught it and I didn't. There was a Mackenzie Child's utensil holder hidden within the mugs. And it was the black checkered uh, metal utensil holder. I was completely oblivious. Probably because when I'm looking for Mackenzie Child, I'm just I'm tuned into the pastel colors. And so I didn't, didn't even see it. But you can't catch everything. That's the truth. <laughs> Thought maybe this could be Polish pottery. Mount Clemens pottery. Hm. Okay, maybe not. There's some restaurant ware. I actually saw matching saucers over on the other side. Cafe. Something. Oh, China. It's hard to read upside down. <laughs> $2.99 on that. Maybe the Ruben glass. I feel like the stopper on that is nicer than the actual bottle. I love the facets. And those are kind of cool. Oh, those are candles. Hmm. Those are neat looking candles. How much are those? Ooh. Oh, it looks like the tape is... Well, maybe not. Just pulling off some of the color. How much are they? Maybe there's no price? No, there's no price on that, so they won't sell it to me. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it. What is that? Oh, that's a candle holder. That looks fancy. What's oh, Gobel? 19... 82 global candlestick holder looked familiar because I bought and sold it before and I can't remember if it was a trinket dish or what it was but there is a signature on the back of it um, and I just remembered the heart on it so this is a, um, a dish for $6.99 I'm gonna grab that yeah I do remember having a piece of that I just don't remember what it was I think it was maybe a trinket dish or something Here's the other side of those plates. 
What is that thing? <laughs> it's interesting. Is it some sort of decorative art piece? Oh, is it a person? I think it's supposed to be a person playing an instrument. That's what it is. Yes, it is an art piece. <laughs> it's supposed to go like this. And it's somebody playing an instrument. There, okay. <laughs> $2.99. There's no markings on it. I'm kind of suspecting it's, oh, there it is. What does it say? Hong Kong. It's a vintage sticker. Anesco Imports. Is that the only one? It'd be great if we could find his bandmates. We'll stick it in here and see if we can find the rest of his friends. I'm sure he has friends. Sheep and Heels is still here. That surprises me. I thought somebody would have scooped that up. <laughs> those are fun for fall. I can hear mom's voice in my head. She would love those for the booth. But it's, we're so far from fall, I don't think I need to grab them. What is this? Oh, look. There's the box. Look at the box that goes with them. Somebody took them out of the box. We need the box, right? The bo <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, I see what happened here. Somebody took them out of the box and then somebody else brought them up front and probably said these aren't priced. And then they priced them all and they brought them back to the shelf. And so now there's two separate prices on these. So, question is, are they gonna honor the price on the box? Or am I gonna have to pay a price for a canister? I'm fine either way, but I'm <laughs> now I'm invested in this. And I hope I remember to tell you guys the outcome. Because <laughs> sometimes I forget to give the update. Brighton tins. That's funky. This is at my mold, so this is a hobbyist piece, but I love the added touch of this like <laughs> sugary texture that kind of makes it actually look like a lamp. Alright, I did not find a friend for our musician. I think he's all on his lonesome, but he's pretty cool, so I think I'll pick him up regardless of the fact that he's a loner. I don't know though, there are also medals in this aisle. What is this thing? Uh, that has something to do with hanging clothes. What is this thing? Looks like it has some leaves to it. $2.99. It's a storage container of some sort. But I'm wondering what you store in there, and I'm also wondering what kind of beads those are. Huh. What is it for? Does anybody in the comments know? I can't, I can't seem to grab it one handed. Um, obviously, the bottom needs a little TLC. But that's very cool. I might grab it. It's a neat box. It would make for a cool gift box. Um, I'm sure that it could be fixed. Here, let's see. I think this just needs to be re-glued, probably. I've got glue. I could probably manage that. Just glue this back up. Fix it. I think that would be worth it. For $2.99. Very large wannabe Hummel. <laughs> this is also a hobbyist piece. MR made this in 1982. They painted, oh, they actually did a nice job painting that. I will say they did a very nice job. What is this? This looks like Monix. Maybe there's a chip on the back of it. What is this from I recently sold my little uh, Lennox spice, spice things. What is this doing? <laughs> I think he's staring at the skull. Darwin. That's crazy. I mean, that would make for a decent booth piece. It's smart Elko. Something. $12.99. <laughs> I think they already hear mom being like, what is this? It'll sell, mom. Trust me. What is this? I know we're staring at her butt, but she's made out of boost site, and she's kind of great. There is an original sticker on the bottom, but I can't quite make it out. Was she here before? I don't think she was. They're currently restocking, um, so that's why I'm like, let's recheck. I haven't been over to the vases yet, though. I think she's great. She doesn't have any breakage or anything. $4.99. Put 
right in there. And you know, with that little sculpture down there, I know I touched it early, picked it up, looked looked at it. It kind of reminds me of the um, the Hager sculpture. What else was I looking at? Oh, we've got Blue Jays. $6.99 on the Blue Jays. Wow, these are probably made in Japan. I mean, there's a little bit of money to be made there. The little um, thing is broken off the sink, but it's actually in the box. Or the bag. $9.99. Hmm, I just listed my first set of furniture this month, or this, uh, this week, so we'll see how that does. some age to it but you know what this reminds me of is cheese and that just kind of turns me off so I'm just gonna leave it here like I said this one kind of reminds me of Hager I don't think that it is but it reminds me of the Hager statue so I'm gonna stick it in here we could put that one in our booth oh what is that oh heck yeah that's beautiful okay <laughs> and this what is this this is the desk to a figurine and we have to find a figurine that goes with it that's the challenge now we have a desk and we have to find his matchy I'm gonna stick it in here maybe we'll come across it it's obviously gonna be somebody sitting in a chair or something working in a desk she's already got her desk so obviously that's not it You know what it actually reminds me of is the, um, the one that I usually find around Christmas time, the Santa Claus. He comes separate from his desk, and we've found Santa before. we found the desk before. I don't think we've ever found them together. That's what that reminds me of. Okay, well, I really wasn't expecting much today, but I feel like we're cleaning up <laughs> really well. <laughs> it's been, like I said, it's been a few weeks since I was here last. No luck finding the figurine that goes with the desk. I figure I'll check out the figurines one last time before I leave. I don't know, I just, I got a feeling like this could be something if we find a figurine that goes with it. And I know there must be a figurine. Um, so we're going to check out the holiday section. And then maybe we'll go back and look one last time. This used to be all Christmas and now it looks like they've condensed it into all of the holidays. Halloween, a little bit of Easter. I'm not really in the market for holiday stuff, but I'll pick it up if it's good. I like looking for the vintage stuff. Usually, usually looking for vintage stuff. Yeah, nothing's really jumping out at me. So. All right, there's there's your holiday fix. The angel looked interesting as I was walking by, but not interesting enough. So I'm gonna do um, a little bit of a purge here. I think I'm going to put the desk back, and um, just because I don't think I'm gonna find a figurine, and I just don't know. Look at that. I just set that back, and I recognize this guy. This is Monroe Saltworks, I think. I don't know, it's covered up. I can see M-O-N, and I th think this is Monroe Saltworks. I don't know if that's a planter or if it's a ramekin. It's worth more than $1.99, so put something back, take something out. I'm kind of regretting leaving behind the cheese planter. This is Incole, $2.99. I don't know, I just, I haven't done exceedingly well with that in the past. Right now I'm looking for more Monroe Salt Works. Where there's one, there might be more. So I walked by these a few times. Looks like they are Hallmark. Hmm, might be worth looking those up. Well, I did a search on eBay for sold listings and I found that uh, the little one sells for eight to 12. It's $3.99. I know occasionally I will pick up um, items with that price plan, but my cart is so full today that I think I'm going to put them back. Granted, I could put this guy back. It's about the same price point right there. Hmm. I think I'm just going to put him back anyway, regardless. 
$6.99. When we round back around to the figurines, I'm going to put that one back, I think. $6.99 is just a little bit too spendy. My total spend there was $102 today. I ended up being charged the box price on those canisters. Yeah, I remember to tell you guys, so I thought that was a great deal. Um, but that was the original price on them. Um, so 102 bucks, that's great. That resin figurine, the frosted resin figurine or Lucite, um, the last one sold on eBay for $125. So that more than covers the entire cost of what we bought today. So I think we're gonna make a bit of money, but I'm happy with everything we bought. That, that was a really great trip to the Goodwill. I've been having a good luck streak lately and it's been awesome. They can't all be winners, but lately I've been doing pretty good. So um, I'm gonna get out of here now. I guess I'll see all of you tomorrow. So long. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see.